Good evening and welcome to the Team Idris channel. A friend asked about the milling attachment, so let's dive in there and have a look. So at the moment I've got the 250mm three jaw chuck on it, it's one that I bought second hand. It's quite rusted but in very very good condition. So at the moment I've got a wood roof style cutter in there for cutting T slots. Uh, also been running the 12mm in there, run a 6mm in there. And that stays pretty central, give it a good grip and it's good drive. So let's move on to the actual sort of milli part of it I suppose. So this is a size 6 nose toss lathe and it's got quite a big tool post on there, that's, that's my hand span. It's no baby, you know. Um, decent big slides, decent big bed. So obviously this is a, a clack around tool post. So the, the vice fits in, what do you call it, the vice holder? I'm going to struggle for words here. So this is a standard vice, it's new. This slide is more like 1930s, 1940s. It's got a very narrow screw on the top, so it's, it's well early. Nice piece of kit, not done a lot. Bit abused. And it clearly belongs to some sort of lathe. So the fixture here replicates the lathe, what do you call it, the, um, the saddle that it ran along. So, I don't think it might be a cross slide, but I think it's been a main slide um, sitting on. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be the equivalent of this big one, but working the other way around. Yeah, so this part here with the triangular part there is this part here. So it would have had a, a nut on it and it would have been wound up and down by another lever. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's some part of an ancient lathe, but hey, it was on eBay. It's a good make, it looked nice, I fancied it. So, in one of my videos you can see me skimming this plate here. So, what we've got in here is a decent sized block of metal, a bit of inch, inch by two inch, which is then welded to a bit of uh, eight mil plate and I'll put the tool in the chuck and skim this plate absolutely flat. That's sitting against the underside of there and sits into those V's. Uh, and then, I don't know if we'll be able to get in there and actually see that. Yeah, we can see them there. There's two screws. Its original adjustment, slack adjuster, is now holding it tight into uh, my fixture. And then down the back there, we can see a couple of threaded rods drilled and screwed and tapped into that uh, body with lock nuts. Um, the idea being that obviously the tools work, I'll come round here, here's your tool, there's the tip, that's the load on it. The tip here is very very close to the screws, close to that. When you come round to the vise, I don't know if I can climb down the back, or That vice is sort of hanging down in fresh air below the tool post holder. And when I come around here, we've got several inches of leverage that would, there's no way that, that tool would hold it on its own, that, that tool block. So these bolts down the back are slightly loaded and they're basically keeping the whole thing tight. So, yeah, I think that's basically about it. You can't turn the, turn the toll post when it's uh, in there. It's a fixed part. Uh, just whip a tool out, pop that in. Um, no setup required. It's uh, incremented in thou, I guess. I tend to put a vernier on there and um, move between that uh, digital vernier. And yeah, that's the, the fella right there. So I uh, get a nice top shot. Yeah, hopefully that video is some use. Thanks for watching.